Oh, what the? Dude. Really? Right. Really? You sleeping on me, bro? Look, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but please don't sleep on me, bro. Like, I'm making big moves over here. All right? Oh, hi. Well, since I suck at being a YouTuber, I kind of forgot to film an intro for uh, today's video. But I got a lot of great goodies for you guys. We got a whole bunch of new carbon fiber parts. We're gonna put them on the vet. After that, we're gonna take the vet to Gavin's. We're gonna get this thing completely wrapped, a whole different color. And then after that, I even have a bigger surprise for you. It's gonna relate to more horsepower. So you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of this video. I think you know what it is, drop a comment below. Without further ado, enjoy today's video, guys. All right, guys, we are back at the shop. All the carbon on the car looks amazing. Like, I can't even describe how these carbon fiber parts just woke this thing up. The way the lip and everything is just so much sharper looking and the fenders themselves, they look so much better. <sighs> I would love nothing more than just to enjoy this, but legend holds it. Me and Gavin have to wrap this thing. We have to completely disassemble the front end. All the parts that just got put on the car, we have to disassemble. I had to make sure they were all good. I had to test fit everything first. And then also, I got this freaking sweet wing back here. This is by MassFab. They make the most killer wing for a C6 and they also make some other parts. If you guys want to go check out MassFab, you can go check out the link in the description below. Also, there's going to be a code. You can use an additional discount on MassFab's website. So anything they have, y'all can use NXT as a discount code. Again, the link is in the description below. You can go get yourself something like this badass wing right here. This thing is just freaking mint. I even did these brackets custom powder coated a different color underneath. I know nobody really ever see them unless they get down low but it's just the fact of like i know it's there and it's gonna be cool no that's not what color we're gonna wrap the car that's actually what color we were gonna wrap the car and then well yeah that color is now on national back order at the moment i decide to order it so it's okay it's still gonna go good with what else we got going we got red all over the car that's the same color as the suspension underneath it all the stuff underneath it is actually powder coated that color as you guys can see like the cool springs little any roll bar links all the four link bars are powder coated that color so it's not like it's just like oddball and doesn't match you can kind of see it through this little gap right here all across the back too. Make sure you guys go check out MassFab because they do an amazing job. This is a three piece deal and it flows with all the body lines of the car. That's what's good about this. It's a little bit different than other wings. It just doesn't look like a flat piece of metal sitting on the back of your car. It actually looks like it belongs there. So go check those guys out. They are freaking awesome. Also, these panels right here are fixed, which is great. So the car is pretty much like ready to get wrapped other than being completely disassembled. Gavin said we're gonna do this right. And he said the way to do it right is to completely disassemble the car to make sure we can wrap around around the back side to make sure the wrap doesn't peel off and it looks like it's actually gonna be painted that color. That color being, let's take this freaking bad boy apart. Shouldn't have much trouble lifting all these carbon fiber parts since they're so light. And just like that, the car is freaking completely torn down. This thing looks like a zombie. It is D-Day guys. And that means we are headed to Gavin's right now. We're about to go wrap this thing. Y'all are gonna get to find out what color it is. It's something that I never expected to actually pick, but the wrap that I ordered was out of stock, so I had to pick a whole new color, because I'm impatient. All the parts are over there in the trailer. We're gonna load this bad boy up and get it over to Gavin's real quick. It didn't take me that long to take everything apart, but I don't like taking stuff apart, I like putting stuff together. We're gonna go get this thing wrapped, get it all put back together so y'all can see the final product. Let me just tell you guys, this thing is about to be freaking mint and i mean that literally take your guesses right now go down to the comments and let me know what color do you think the car is going to be whenever we get all done if you're right who knows i might just add you to the list of the contestants that are actually entered to win free turbo kit giveaway full build whatever your dream build is you come to next shift you're going to get a power adder you're going to get all the supporting mods you're going to get a tune the whole nine all you got to do is like comment and make sure you subscribe because we're going to be picking people out of our subscribers list and out of our comment section turbo kits like this you don't see every day but we can make them happen over here get this thing loaded up get over to gavin's real quick Ooh, this thing is Now the trick is to get out of this thing. That was graceful, right? Alright, see y'all at Gavin's.
All right, I'm gonna get this trailer turned around, but guys, we are at Precision Car Care. You guys didn't know, this is Gavin's establishment. This is where he washes details, ceramic coats cars, and does all sorts of things to actually improve your car's paint, body, and everything to look absolutely pristine. So make sure you click the link, go check out Precision Car Care, and book your appointments today. They do an amazing job. They're here in my hometown, Ruston, Louisiana. But even if you're like four hours away, swear to God, it'd be worth the drive. Like, they actually do that great of work. I'm gonna get this bed unloaded. Ooh, look at that fine neck shift girl. What up? Dang, I was, I was anticipating you being on that side. Uh oh. How's your morning going? It's going great so far. Oh, yeah. About to uh, completely change the look of the vet, right? Absolutely. So, I'll well, load this thing. Yeah. This thing looks something like off a of death rate with all the body covers on those. What in the hell? That's pretty dope. I spent too much money in Houston yesterday. I picked up a, uh, I picked up another engine. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, man. Oh, it almost did. Oh, almost did. I, I literally just played this game in my shop to get it loaded. Watch the Camaro. <laughs> without a front clip. Back. While Sean tries to get his Corvette started. Uh, <laughs> my girlfriend just pulls up in her Mustang. Sean. Get her react. What? What the hell is that? Oh my God. We're having starter problems. It actually started in the shop while ago. Whenever it started, I was like, yes, yes. I was like, now if it only starts when we get to Gavin's. Are you pushing it? Yeah, I'm pushing. <laughs> hey, don't worry about the camera. You turn it right up, pull it right in. Yep. Glad you guys didn't have to watch it just drive in easily. Do wheelies in your shop, they said. It'll be fun, they said. What you're looking at, folks, is years and years of letting the bald eagles loose and shredding all tires. I told y'all it was gonna be badass. Look at this color. That's honestly like my favorite white that I've seen. I like honestly personally the little decals that they added in for them. I think it looks pretty good. Dude. Really mint, yeah. I like sponsor it. Sponsored out. Sponsored your app. Which brings me to uh, my next point. Today's video is brought to you by Metro Restyling, guys. Make sure you go check out Metro Restyling. Oh, I didn't mean for y'all to see that yet. <laughs> Make sure you guys go check out Metro Restyling to get the best wraps and the best deals. The link's in the description below. They have a lot of great things to make your car completely transformed into the dream car that you want it to be. Once we start pulling backing off, we need to be very careful about like walking around and scraping feet and whatever, because yeah. once the adhesive's shown, we don't want anything cling uh, to it, but it's, it's got like static cling, so it tries to cling dust to it. But uh, any dust that's on it, it'll show through the wrap. Pull it all the way off. Okay, and all those nice parts. It's really important to grab the corner and stretch it tight. Not too, too tight, but make sure we cover the whole door uh -huh. and just literally stick it to it. Done. Sit. That's like, it. That's Start it. the car. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Man, I want to pretend like I know what I'm doing here, but I've never wrapped a car before. Pull both corners up and pull the tight seat off. Yep. All right. All right. So look. Just seeing that body line is getting me excited. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. I'll drop it. All right, guys. Professional has laid the first panel. It is complete and not professional. It's got uh, I don't know it's about got... that, bro. Guys, this really doesn't do it justice on camera like like it should. Honestly, once we get the whole car done, like you're gonna be able to definitely see the way this white lays on all the curves, like it just looks immaculate, looks great. Almost done with the back panel, and it is coming out van freaking tabulous. It is very, so very sick. Sweet. If y'all are wondering what color this is, Siberian White. It's a KPMF wrap. You can get it from Metro Restyling. I ain't gonna lie, dude. I've always loved this car silver, but this is about to make me like re-love my car even more again. That's really what wraps do, I swear. Wraps, yeah. like, you wrap a car, it feels like you're in a whole new car again. Oh, dude, we're gonna gain like three tenths in the quarter mile just from wrapping this thing. And then when we ceramic coat it, it's gonna shave a whole second off because it's gonna be so slick, just has nothing to do with the new engine and trans. No. Hey, they don't know about that. Oh, sorry. Well, 
Y'all got a little surprise. We are completely overall in this car. It's not just the wrap, guys. It's not just this. Even though we have a whole bunch of carbon fiber parts, we have a whole new engine and trans going in the car before we go to MITM. Most time consuming thing I've ever done. He's got this weird looking tape over here. He said it's called knifeless tape. I personally don't know what it is. If you don't know what it is and you don't know how to wrap a car, make sure you go check out Gavin's video, it's up there. He gives a lot of tips and tricks in his video of how to actually do a quality wrap instead of just a crappy run the mill wrap that you're probably gonna do if you don't watch this video. Go check out his video before you wrap your car. See, like right now, he's trying to get into this really, really deep curvature of this door handle. This material isn't exactly the most stretchy. What I'm doing, that actually looks like it's working. But over time, basically, if you have material that's stretched too far, it'll end up starting to peel up. Uh -huh. So basically, I put this knife tape back here so that in a second, you see how it's sitting there right now? Mm -hmm. But if you sat here for another 20 minutes, it'll end up continuing to pull and pull and pull back. So what I did is we're gonna put knife tape back there, rip it, and I'm gonna show you in a second. It's actually really cool. It's gonna keep it from over time stretching and pulling, and then we'll lay another layer over the top of it to where it'll look almost seamless. Yep, still no what I'm talking about, but what he said. And this was slicing through the bread. Dude, I gotta get some of that tape. I don't know what I, the hell I'd use it for, but it's just cool. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Take the excess and pull it off. You learn something new every day. Now we're gonna lay it completely flat instead of trying to stretch the material the whole way down yeah i'm gonna lay another layer of this over it and follow just over this line and then i can either try and lay another sheet in here it's all flat but at least we got a straight line all right moving on to the trunk lid guys i'm gonna use some of this excess material right here to wrap other stuff around it Come in, Faramello, with the next year shirt on. It's actually like, I really like it. if you want to be technical, it's Siberian Pearl. <laughs> I like it a lot, that's sick. See this here? This is about to be real OP right here. Like, he's about to yin yang that thing and it's gonna be perfectly lined up. Yeet. Fast forward just a little bit. We have made it back to Next Shift headquarters. That's right, we're at my shop. Y'all know I share a shop with Mr. Po Boys. If you don't know who Po Boys is, go ahead and click up there and check out his channel real quick. But I've been keeping this whole wrap thing a surprise. So he knows I wrapped it, but he doesn't know what color I wrapped it. Last time he heard I was wrapping it red. I think he's bringing a few friends with him too, so we're gonna get all their reactions. <sighs> they have not seen the vet yet. I've got the lights set up. It's official. The lighting in this shop is horrible. I've got that right there and that right there. Po just pulled up. I think he's calling me. I'm over here, yo. What's good? That was you calling me. I didn't want to go in without you seeing Tanner, you got a fresh cut? I did. The mullet. You see how far I saw that fresh cut from here, dude? It means it's fresh. It does you really good. <laughs> Are you ready to see this thing? Yes. I haven't seen anything. I have no idea what color it is. I'm excited. You don't know what it is either? I have no idea. If it's not silver. Know, yeah. Know. Last I saw it, it was silver and the front land was carbon it's not, fiber. It's That's not it. silver. Look, we just got a man going through the pasture over there. Let's go. Hey, Louisiana things. <laughs> hillbilly. Nobody take offense to that. I'm a hillbilly too. Stay right there. I'm going to get in there with the camera and then I'm going to let y'all open the door and come in. All right. All right. Come in. Yo, <laughs> this thing looks sick. Oh my that's, gosh. That's is that amazing. like a pearl or is that white? That's pearl. Oh my gosh, that looks beautiful. Wow. Yeah. That I was is just so thinking, dude, cool. white on like a car would be just so clean. I was thinking about wrapping mine. <laughs> it, but, ah! Oh my goodness, Sean. That's that looks great. It yeah, looks so this. much better. If you look at it from a distance, it still looks like it could be silver because yeah. it's got like a perfect yeah. sheen to it. Yeah, but it's it, it, so that, much, dude, it's that, lighter. Whenever you whenever you put it outside, like the the light in this shop is it horrible. Pops. Which we're getting new lights, post putting them in. Check it out from like right this side. Like you can actually see it flop. That's so cool, dude. That thing's gonna pop. Yo, it, yeah, it does pop in the shop, and the shop lighting is booty. Good yeah, choice. good choice. Yeah, I like it. Really good choice. 
Question. Are you wrapping the front fenders? Yes. That color is going to look really good on them. And then, and then cutting, and then we're going to cut out around the fender vent. It's going to be carbon. So it's going to be carbon through, and then on the front bumper, you know, it's carbon as well. So like the whole lip that goes around the front bumper will all be like cut out. That lip and, wrap. and those cutouts are going to be sharp. Oh gonna... yeah, yeah, facts. It's going to look great. Right now, guys, Gavin is doing some secret stuff. You're going to have to go check out his channel for what he's doing in Atlanta. But another thing what he's doing while he's in Atlanta is getting Atlanta custom wraps to wrap my bumper and fender since he ran out of knifeless tape. And we didn't have time to do this. It's back at my shop because it is grind time. We are about to do a full engine and trans swap. We got a whole bunch of new goodies. Bad unit in there. And I then another that. bad unit in there. Oh yeah, you haven't seen that? I, I, the car, I'd like. This is car part porn. Like this, this is the only way to explain it. It's car parts porn. So <laughs> this is the best T56 you can get from Tick Performance. They have many, many options. Those guys are the guys to talk to if you're serious about going fast, especially in the stick shift world. So as you can see, they really, really know how to make a T56 look good. This is their own billet front plate. They machine this in house. And they also have the option to get this input shaft speed sensor installed. So you have a speed sensor back here and you have a speed sensor up here. So that means you get all the data. So now I'll be able to know exactly when my clutch is slipping, when it's not slipping, which also means it's going to be great for testing the Mansbreak V2 coming up very soon in the near future. So make sure you come back to see that in some later videos. But today, 5.3, it's been good knowing you, but you got to go. Automatic transmission. Yes, guys, I auto swapped the car for just like a little bit. It was just an effort to keep content rolling for you guys. It was good knowing you, but you got to go. Stick shift is back and then over here please don't judge me about the blue okay i'm gonna explain we have a 60 this is a 370 so it's got wiseco piston the 10.5 one decompression deal and it's got k1 rods and k1 crank you don't want to push this over about 1200 ish but we're going to just because i don't care i'll risk it all just to go faster so we're going to push it as far as it'll possibly go we're waiting on some parts to get back the front end clip is off we're waiting on it to get back from atlanta custom wraps gavin is getting that part done but today we're going to be taking the 5.3 out it has been a trooper it has looked like a glitter bomb went off in this thing the last four oil changes you want to see check this out hold on so this is one of the filters that I cut open for the 5.3. So I'm just gonna wipe my finger in it just like that. All right, now we're gonna come over here to the light. So you can see right there, it has got a lot of bearing material in it. That's because we've pushed this thing way past its limits, guys. I know the last dyno video y'all saw, I've got a lot of hate because everybody's like, the car makes 500 horsepower. Name a car that's been the five's eighth mile. Okay, this makes 500 horsepower, that's it. N not one or a street car that weighs 3,000 pounds. Okay, don't give me shit for my race car. All right, I've seen on the data logs this thing is taking about 31 pounds of boost. It's completely stock bottom in. It's LS9 head gasket, fourth gen rotating assembly, so completely stock rods, crank, pistons, all from GM. The block is half filled. Rings gap for boost. It's opened up. It's taking a lot of abuse. And now it's time to get rid of it because we have a big race coming up and I don't want to unload this thing off the trailer and it just lock up right there in the parking lot because that is my luck. You guys know my luck. That would be my luck. We're going to get this thing painted black, first of all. Then we're going to get the 5.3 out of the car today. And then we're going to make this badass T56 up to the brand new 60 block that's all forged, stick it back in the car, and then we're going to get it tuned. So Rustin is going to be tuning this thing. Also, you guys, if you're wondering who does the engine work and stuff for the car, um, they actually built the 5.3 and it's not their fault that it's a glitter bomb because I've really just pushed it as far as it could possibly go. The crank has been flexing in it and all kinds of sorts of stuff. But the same people who put the 5.3 together put this together and they're putting together another engine for me right now. This is done by Modern Airflow Dynamics. They actually have a YouTube channel. Check those guys out. They're pretty awesome. And if you need any work done, I will put the link to them in the description below. So make sure you check out Modern Airflow Dynamics. They're a great group of guys and they've been putting together some pretty fast motors, not just going to be in this car but all over the country they have got some fast sh going without further ado i'm gonna put you guys on gopro and then we're gonna get strapped up we're gonna take the five three out of this thing cross my fingers that i don't touch the pearl white car with greasy fingers it's been freshly wrapped so yeah probably not gonna go good all right let's get started i can't really hold this big honking camera and do all this at the same time i'll give you all a little update it's only been about an hour so i got the intake off got all the lines disconnected the coolant lines off and right now we're undoing the turbo kit. I've never taken this turbo kit out before. 
So I don't know how easy it's gonna be. We gotta take the turbo off anyways. We're gonna take the turbo off real quick. Aw, dead gummit. All right, so last night, brought the car back to my shop. Gavin got back from Atlanta. He brought all the custom parts that him and Justin wrapped, but he hasn't seen it put together, and neither of y'all, and this is the final product. I personally have 30 to 40 hours tied up into this car of my own time, so. Damn. Hey, that just is bad as This thing is Jesus sick, huh? Christ. That thing is crazy. Dude, this thing's turned out immaculate. It looks so good. Whole interior stick shift's back in there. You see that? Oh, yeah. Guys, if you want to go see Gavin's reaction, make sure you go up there, check out his channel, because his reaction, riding in the car, is going to be on his channel. Um, Nuck and futs or what? Yep. <laughs> Nuck and futs for sure. Like, it's really going to go faster than what I think. I originally, whenever he was first putting the whole car together and whatever, I was like, it'd be cool to see mid ace out of that car. But like, I am very confident after feeling that at that power level and that boost level, it's going to go faster than what I think. We are actually loading up the car right now. Me and the boys. Get on the road. We're going to get on the road. Off to St. Louis. Wish us luck. Hopefully all goes well. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment if you want to win a dream build. And we'll see you guys on the next shift. We've assessed the damage. I told y'all something wasn't right. You remember that brand new bumper that I just got?